questions do you have? Um, I don't necessarily have a question, but well, my question got answered in playing with it because I was wondering if it could take a song and from a song put it oh. into that. And so I teach, I taught high school math. And so I took, there's this rap song that I used to introduce quadratic equations with that a high school in Westerville did. And I took that song and it did, it put it all into short, medium, long or, or, or um, length. And then I could add questions. And it was really awesome because the open-ended questions that came up for math was not what I expected from the song. It was better than what I expected. Okay. And it said that it was, um, at the end of it, it asked students like, how do you feel about math after watching the video with them doing a rap and a dance and it's funny. And, and, um, and then it asked, uh, reflect on a time when you struggled with a difficult concept in math and how did you overcome that challenge and what strategies wow. did you use? And so it's like taking it like to a whole different level than just the math. But then it also said, what were some shortcuts they had said or why did it say the discriminant could help you? And what was a trick that they mentioned? And like, what was the main idea of it? Why watch the video in the multiple choice questions. And so I think that's a whole nother way to just think through a video that you watch, but you're actually doing math. I just, this is why I love these calls because I learned so much from like actual practitioners who are, are trying it out and seeing like how it's working for them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. And I also put it at a, so that's a 10th, 11th, 12th grade concept, but I put it at seventh grade. Amazing. And so I think it's better to take that 12th grade, but that have it explained like in a seventh grade way, because then it's not speaking in a foreign language in a sense like math can be. I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing.